Okay, so this video is going to show um, Cuckoo integrating with NTR if you follow all the instructions and troubleshoot all the problems. So you see here on our Ubuntu machine we have we already started Cuckoo up and we also have the Ruby Watcher um, up and running. Now on the NTR box just make sure you have the folder shared already and then start up the Ruby script. You see here I have NTR already started up and I just analyzed a PCAP and I found this executable that it said it could possibly be malicious so I say okay let's download it. And make sure when you're saving the file you're saving it to the location that the watcher script is watching. And let's just change the name. Something like that. And now if we look, we see we have a new file, and we see Cuckoo getting the file and now booting up to the virtual machine to run analysis on it. And we see that the Ruby script worked and it notified us that there's a new sample. So let's just quickly pause it. And... Okay, the analysis is complete. Um, Cuckoo has shut down, um, the VM has shut down, and now we can go and take a look at our analysis, which is under task 9. So now, while this is doing, while Cuckoo is running, you could be back in NTR doing additional PCAC analysis and putting more files into the, the folder, and it would, the, the script would pick it up and push it over to this box, which would then start up um, Cuckoo again. Now, I don't know what would happen if you have multiple files popping in at the same time. Um, I assume it would just put it in a queue. So here we have all the, re the report formats that Cuckoo outputs to. And here we have our analysis. We have some network analysis. Here we have some behavior analysis of the process itself. Some very basic static analysis of the executable and the files it dropped. And we even have, if you have the, if you loaded up the, the proper library, you can even get a screenshot. So that's Cuckoo and NTR.